everyone, so for this video I have the Is it worth the hype slash YouTube made me buy it video. This is kind of a video on makeup products that beauty gurus go on about and rave on about all the time um, and you talk about if it is worth the hype or not. So makeup products that are like really, really raved about on YouTube and you talk about if it is worth the hype or not, which is like basically what I just said twice. Um, so yes, yeah, so I also want to say that yes, I have a new background. I'm testing out this new background, see if I like it or not, because the background that I that I uh, used to have in my old video, I like, but I like I would like to have a more professional background. I also started to say hello, hello everyone, because. I want to make my, make my YouTube channel a little, more, a little bit more professional. I don't want to say hi guys anymore. For some reason, I just want to, I just want to really have a really have a good change on my YouTube channel. So, new background, better edited videos, better quality videos. Um, not like not a rambling intro, which is what this is right now. So I'm sorry guys, but yes. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I hope you guys like the background. Comment down below if you like it or not. Um, and I also want to quickly say that if you are thinking about buying this product, one of the products that I'm going to talk about in this video and I say that I don't like it, don't feel like you don't like, oh I was going to buy that but I can't now because uh, Emily said that like um, she doesn't like it. So no, I, this is my personal opinion, you know, I might have a different skin type to you, I might have, I might have oily skin compared to you, I might have dry skin compared to you, it, it, it's different makeup is different on every single person so if I don't like it it doesn't mean that you won't so just want to quickly say that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I shall get straight into it. The first product I'm going to talk about is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. So this is for men obviously and it is actually used as a primer and Nikki Tutorials first of all introduced this as a primer and everyone started like using this as a primer and it was just like it was just really trending on YouTube and I bought some and I bought the sensitive one because I have sensitive skin and I tried it about three or four times the first time it was absolutely brilliant it said it kept my makeup on all day but then the next three times that I tried it um it made my makeup flake off as soon as I put it on my face so I put my foundation on started blending it and it started coming off in like layers before I even finished my makeup so there was like a patch of skin that was a different colour to the rest of my face because it had come off instantly and when I stopped using this it like stopped it was making my makeup flake off um and you are if you meant uh, uh, I'll get my word out in a minute if you meant I think you meant to let it dry which I did I let it dry for about five minutes and it was still not working so I definitely don't think this is worth the hype Lots of YouTubers are saying that it is amazing, but I just, I just don't really, really like this, and I have never, never used it again since. So, don't recommend it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. You guys know what I'm going to say. This is definitely worth the hype. So this is hyped about with loads of YouTubers. Like they say, like it's like the best foundation ever. Loads of celebrities use this even, and it is perfect. Like it is definitely worth the hype. I have it on right now, it is such good coverage, like all you need is like about, about two or three pumps of this and it covers your entire face and, and neck, like entire face and neck and you still have a little bit left over and it is just perfect. Amazing coverage, it's super blendable, it's quite affordable, it is a little bit pricier than other drugstore foundations but it's not as pricey as a high-end foundation which I've tried high-end high -end foundations and they have really gone really cakey on my face and they have just really caused me to break out and this one is about £10 and it is perfect. Definitely worth the hype, go and pick this up guys, you will love it. The next item is a blush and it is the Sleek Rose Gold Blush. This is talked about so much, especially last year. It's kind of phased out now, but last year this was hyped about so much. So I picked it up last year and when it was like like trending on YouTube and I tried it out and when, when I bought it, I didn't really like bright blushes. Well, it isn't really bright, but I didn't like um, non-subtle blushes, if that makes any sense. I used to like really non-noticeable ones for some reason. I was kind of weird. Um, so I didn't use it much. But now that I've started to use it again, I started to use it at the beginning of this year again and I love it. I use it all the time. I have it on right now. Um, it's it's quite pigmented um, if you like swatch it on your hand. But 
it's amazing on your cheekbones. Like all you need is about three swirls of this in there and then you just put it on and blend it and it's just perfect. You need to blend it a lot but if you just like put it on like that you've got like a massive red circle on your face but you need to blend it a lot and it is amazing. The packaging is absolutely stunning. I'll do an overlay of the packaging in a minute and oh my god I just love this blush and it is also really shimmery so if you don't like shimmery blushes I don't recommend this but it is perfect for me and it is only five pounds. The next thing is a palette and it is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. So all the naked palettes that I opened to Kate are hyped out on YouTube so much and I haven't got one of the big ones yet. I'm hoping to get one of those really soon. So I tried the mini ones which are £22. Uh, no, £22.99, that's how much they are. Um, so the, this is just a palette with six eyeshadows. Is it six? Yeah, six eyeshadows. And they are all really nice, neutral, everyday, wearable shades and I just love them. It is definitely worth the hype, this palette. It is, it is just perfect for me. I have three of the shades on today. I have Skimp, Stark and Cover on today, which are my three favourite shades. And I love them. They're so blendable. Um, packaging is absolutely stunning. And even though £23 is, a lo is very expensive for makeup, um, I think it's definitely worth it. Like, £23 for a palette, in my opinion, like, with some palettes that you can get these days, like, I know that the Too Faced palettes are about £40. So for one like this, um, like such as quality as this, I think £23 is, a, is an absolute bargain to be honest. And you definitely need to save up and buy this because it is stunning, it looks amazing on my dressing table as well. I just absolutely love this and I definitely recommend it. The next thing is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This, was, this one is in the shade 605 Strawberry Milk. This was hyped about again like this Leek Rose Gold blush last year a lot. It was really hyped about and you can get so many like different shades and I don't think you can say that but there. Um, and I tried one of these out at the beginning of this year and so I tried it out as a base for my eyeshadow and basically it is really sticky. It's, <coughs> it's really more of an eyeshadow primer I would say. Um, than just like a eyeshadow pencil. It's it's too creamy, I would say. It's too, it sticks to your skin instantly and yeah, like, you can't blend it. Once it's on, it's on. You cannot blend it at all. And if you try to get it off, you're just left with like massive pink circles because it is really pigmented. Um, so overall, I think this is definitely not, not worth the hype. They are 5 dollars which I, I think the 5 dollars Yeah, I think the 5 dollars Definitely not, not worth the hype in my opinion. I just don't like this at all and I've never used it since the first time I used it. So don't really, I really don't like these. The next thing is a mascara and it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is hyped about so much on YouTube and it is just amazing. It is definitely worth the hype. I haven't got anything to fault about this. Actually, I have one thing. Uh, once you, if you buy it brand new um, and like it's brand new, for first use, use it instantly your lashes do clump together a lot because it is really like really liquidy so that, that isn't that isn't a word it's really runny um it's like it's really watery that's the word it's really watery when you first buy it so wait a bit like open it um use it a, a couple of times um see if you like it like watery and then put it in your drawer for a cup for um for a couple of days and then see if it dries out a little bit uh, because I I have a dried out version in this drawer. Um, that's the dried out version, and this is actually a lot better than the new one that I actually bought because um, it is actually dried out a lot. Um, but I didn't need to buy another one because that one was running out. But apart from that, I haven't got anything to fault about this. I still love it, even though it's watery. It's just it's quite hard to get off on on the night because it's so watery. But I have it on right now, and I do really love it. It makes your lashes just go up here, and as you guys know, I love that. I love so much volume in my lashes, and this definitely does that. It's only £8, packaging is gorgeous, and I just love it. The next thing is a MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. This lipstick is definitely influenced. The, the, this, this purchase I made was definitely influenced by YouTube, because I wouldn't have bought this if I hadn't seen it on YouTube, because I'd have picked it up in MAC and I'd have thought, that's a really dull colour, because it is really... It is a really dull colour, isn't it? It looks quite pink on camera, but it's actually just like really dark brown. 
but because I've seen it in so many makeup tutorials on YouTube, so many haul videos, so many makeup collections, then I thought, do you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for it. So it is my favourite lipstick ever. You guys know that this, you guys know what I'm going to say. It is definitely worth the hype. I love this so much. Packaging is stunning. Um, the colour is just perfect for me. I went through a phase where I used it every single day for two months. This is actually my second tube of this now. Tube? Would you say tube? Yeah, tube. This is my second one of this. I actually have the old one still. So it's just there. This is the old one. Yep, that's the old one. All used. All used up. But yeah, and I love this and I definitely definitely recommend it. They are quite pricey, they're £15, but I think this is definitely worth the money. And guys, go and get this because you'll not regret it. The next thing I just had to put in this video because it has been the number one raved about thing on YouTube in 2016, I think personally, and it is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy Kit. So this is a single and these have been so hyped about on YouTube, like every single shade of these have been so hyped about. But the number one shade for me I think that was hyped about this year were, uh, is Candy Kit, I think, and this is Candy Kit and I love this. The smell is gorgeous, the packaging is unbelievable. Like, I'll do an overlay so you can see it better. But I have this on right now and I love it. It is a big dupe for Mac Lover Teddy. I would say our Mac Lover Teddy is a dupe for this. Um, it's very similar. They last so long. That's what I love about them is that they last all day. They last until about nine o'clock at night. If you don't, if you don't like eat a really messy and big dinner, they last a long time. So if you just have like sandwiches, it's still on. If you just have soup, it's still on. If you have loads of water, it's still on. It's just perfect. I just love the packaging. It's it's just perfect, guys. And you need to get one because, well, I know that really hard to get on the on the website but I love them and they're definitely worth the hype. And that is the end of my video, guys. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.